welcome to a new factory tour by Appelbaum. We are today in Peine, which is close to Hanover in Germany. In Peine is the nest of the pelican family, the factory where all the little birds are made. Pelican is a company that was founded in 1838 by Karl Hornemann and you find the style of the souverain pens in the pelican collection since the 50s. In the 80s the series was given the name souverain. The souverain with a pinstripe sleeve is still considered a symbol of the pelican brand worldwide. It is the brand ambassador and the company's flagship product. The recognizable striped transparent barrel, the clip in the form of the peak of a pelican and the handmade gold nibs are very recognizable for the souverain collection. Let's have a look at how this souverain pen is made. The most eye-catching feature of the souverain is the striped barrel. The production of this sleeve is subject to an elaborate process. The typical striped material is cotton based and made by a formula developed specially for pelican, also called cellulose A-STAT. It takes months until the block providing the stripes is finished and shipped from the producer in Italy to Germany in large shelves. To make the material into a barrel it needs to undergo a few steps. First, the raw material needs to be cut in the right size. Note that there are different colors of green in the material. This is also the place where the first check of the stripes are done. If a plate doesn't have straight lines, it is thrown away and not used for the souverain pants. After the first stage, the small plates of material are lined up for the next stage. They are heated up by this machine. After that, a hammer curves the heated material and it is put in the U-wall, which makes it into the shape of a tube. The turning wheel lets the heated material cool down a little bit and after that it is pushed out of the machine. This cylinder is put together with a special glue, so it doesn't get loose. First, the open part is located and face down. After that, the tube is being submerged in the special liquid. And the tubes that are now glued together are collected for the next stage. The next stage is that the sleeve is cut in the right size. This is done two at a time. The sleeve has already the different colors of green, but to make them more shiny, the sleeves are polished. This result is done only by polishing the raw material. There is no lacquer or extra treatment involved, just polishing. The polishing is done by a cotton material and some polishing wax. The polishing can be done by hand or by machine. The polishing machine has a cotton cloth that is rotating all the time. To make sure the material doesn't scratch, the sleeve is also rotating. The spare sleeve cannot be assembled on any pen. Therefore, there is a plastic part molded underneath by an injecting molding machine. The plastic is needed to guide the piston inside and to create the fitting for the front part. Before the barrel goes to the assembly room, the barrel is checked by hand for imperfections. Imperfections can be a small dent or a scratch that was made during the production process or that the stripes are not even. Only the most beautiful barrels are used for the souverain pants. The nib process exists out of 20 steps, which also includes cutting the right shape of the nib, the embossing of the recognizable pelican logo on the nib, the forming of the round shape, assembling the iridium tip, assembling the feet and extensively testing. After the gold, 14 carat or 18 carat is rolled in the right thickness and cut in the right size, the small plates are put in this machine and cut in the form of the nib. The waste of cutting the nib obviously will be recycled. As are the other processes of the golden nib production, also this is done by hand, piece by piece. After the shape of the nib is cut, the embossing of the famous pelican nib design is done. With the embossing also the gold marks are placed at the gold nib. The design of the nib is quite precisely. So is the diameter 
of the Pelican logo 6 mm, while the breather hole has a diameter of 1.1 mm. As you can probably imagine, the mold for the endorsements are mirrored, so on the nip it looks right. When the gold has the right marks on it, the straight plate is bended using this mold. This mold makes sure the nip has the perfect curve for the best writing performance. After the bending, the nip still cannot write. The nip needs to be fitted with an iridium tip. The iridium tip is made by small iridium balls that are welded at the top of the gold nip. On the left you see the nip without the iridium tip, while on the right the nip has the tip on it. The process is done by this machine. On the right side the gold nip without the iridium tip is placed in the wheel. On the left side of the wheel the position of the nip is checked. And then at the bottom the iridium ball is welded at the front part of the gold nip. As are the other processes, also this process is done by hand. The final step is that the nip and feet are assembled and tested. Here you see how a M200 nip is assembled. The feet and nip are pushed together inside the ring that holds the nip. The feet and nip are aligned perfectly to each other because of the standard where the parts are put into. After the nips are assembled they are checked under a loop if the imprint has any imperfections and if the tines are correct. Then the nip is tested by hand and the little paper she puts between the tines is a test to see if the slit is indeed the 0.04 mm that is needed for the best writing performance. If the tines hold the paper, the nip is approved. Besides the gold nips, Pelican also makes steel nips for their entry level pens, like the Pura. The production of the stainless steel nips is similar to the production process of the gold ones, the only difference is that this is done automatically. So also the nips are cut in the right size, stamped with the logo and bended in the curved size. After that the nips get the iridium tip welded on it and the slit is cut. They also have a machine that is checking each and every steel nips imperfections. The metal ring, golden or rhodium coated, of the cap is not glued or welded to the resin cap. The cap is molded around the ring. Before this process starts, the ring and the resin parts are checked carefully. After that, they are put in the machine. The machine is closed for 20 seconds and mold these two parts together. After that, the complete parts are checked again for imperfections. This lady is working on the clips of the Souverain. In this case, she worked on ballpoint pens, but the process for the fountain pens is quite similar. The clip is placed on the cap and after that it is screwed together. After all the pieces are made, they are assembled by hand. During this assembling process, the functionalities are tested and the material is checked again on imperfections. If you put the forepart and the barrel to each other, there is a small gap between the both parts. This gap is melded with ultrasonic energy together. So the final part doesn't have this gap anymore and the two parts are impossible to let go of each other. Here you see a pre-assembled piston mechanic. When you turn clockwise the rod is put down and turning counterclockwise the rod comes up and in combination with the barrel it can suck up the ink. At this station the piston mechanic and the barrel are put together. First the gasket is finished with silicon grays then the piston mechanic is pushed in the correct position in the barrel and tested if the turning works properly, both ways. If you don't like the piston mechanism, Pelican also offers their high quality fountain pen ink in ink cartridges. The filling process of the ink cartridges is not done by hand, as you can imagine, but by this amazing machine. First the basic plastic parts are put in the machine. After that the vinyl of the cartridge is welded by ultrasonic welding to the end of the cartridge. Then the cartridge is turned over. The needle fills the ink inside the cartridge until a certain level. And then on top the famous small balls which we all collected in primary school close the cartridge and you have the final product rolling out of the machine. This complete process is done 12 at a time.
Once the souverain is put together, the pen gets a final check before it got the Pelican approval to leave the factory. The nib gets tested, the material is checked for imperfections and the functionalities have to work as well. Note that all these tests are done by hand. Once all the souverain pens are ready to be shipped, they are packed and shipped to the distributor or the stores like Applebaum where you can find the Pelican souverain writing instruments. I noticed during this factory tour that the passion of the staff of Pelican for their souverain collection is amazing. The great care for their flagship product is noticeable and they are really proud of it. The quality is outstanding and the structure in the factory is fascinating. If you use a souverain fountain pen, you feel the craftsmanship. It is a must have for everybody. Thank you.